What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're going to dive in and see what messages come out for you. Let's see what's going on with Scorps. What's going on with the Scorpios, please, Spirit? What's going on with my Scorpios, please, Spirit? Oh, one more shuffle. Hope y'all are well. What's going on with Scorpios? Hope y'all are having an amazing week ahead so far. <laughs> and happy freaking Wednesday. What's going on? Scorpio energy. Scorpio energy. What's going on with my Scorps? Ooh, temptation. Bottom of the deck, half faith. 22, number 19. That's 10. Okay, so something could be coming to an end. Some sort of temptation, something that tempts you, something that kind of steers you away or takes you on the wrong path or puts you in a different direction. That is coming to an end. This temptation will no longer be able to tempt you or be around in the energy where it can pull you near them or around them, get you distracted, get you off. What's going on with Scorpio? going on with Scorpio yeah tree let uh let them go shark swim away from the situation it's because somebody a shark baby somebody cannot be trusted don't need to be trusted okay this person don't deserve your trust your loyalty none of that energy this person is in and out this is somebody that's inconsistent okay they go wherever the the price is right if you get what I'm saying they go wherever um benefits them whatever's beneficial to them is where they flow okay so spirit is saying let them go number nine be single so let's see here. I'll read the book on this for you. Number 18. Oh, my nose is itching. Here we go. All right. You often take on the pain of others. You used to think it was because you are an empath, but these days you are not so sure. Sometimes it feels like other people are emptying their emotions into you and giving nothing in return. Sometimes we even feel we've inherited pain from those who come before us in our family tree. This is your permission to let go. Your life is ultimately about you, not what other people expect you to carry for them. So Scorpio, what are you carrying of other people's that is no longer meant for you to carry? Their burdens, their financial problems, their emotional problems, their baggages, whatever that is, okay? It's not yours to carry. You don't have to carry it. I wouldn't carry it. I'd let this go. Okay, pack it up, put it in a bag, speak it in a jar. Okay, whatever you need to. And release it. Change your energy and release it. It is not yours to carry. Not anymore. Somebody can't carry their weight. That's not your problem. Somebody need a ride to work. That's not your problem. You better get on the bus. Okay. What's going on? A couple of cards here for Scorpio. What's going on with this energy? Let them go in temptation. What's going on with Scorpio? Let them go in temptation. Some of y'all about to go through a divorce, separation, breakup. We got depression. Riding it out. Mm-hmm. And divorce, breaking the contract. Some of y'all, y'all got to let whoever this is break up, separate, okay? Check yourself. If it's affecting your energy, if it's affecting your energy, it's making you feel any type of way, let it go. Don't worry about that person. You can't worry about them. I get it. You know, they say marriage to death do us part. No, honey, but if they not cheating, they not did this, they not did that. If this type of person, this type of person, I wouldn't worry about it, okay? You can let them go. It's okay. Let it go. 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 Or like frozen, let it go, let it go. Okay, can't take this shit anymore. Not just playing, but y'all get what I'm saying. What's going on? Tree, let them go for Scorpio with temptation. Black magic, yeah, because somebody's doing black magic anyway. Somebody look crazy, look cuckoo, or somebody trying to do black uh, magic on somebody. What's going on? Bad deals, they know how to lift your spirit. Mm -mm. What's going on? And they're coming in because this is going to piss somebody off. Break free. Yeah, it's time to break free. I see somebody releasing. I see somebody breaking free because somebody is like, okay, yeah. This is, oh, fatal attraction. This is, it's like somebody trying to hold on to somebody because somebody lifts them up or like encourages them. But this is like break free. This is like taking away somebody's free will. You see what I'm saying? When you take away somebody's free will, or try to take away somebody's free will. This It makes somebody angry. Scorpio, you could have new love coming in. But like somebody either could be holding on to you. Or somebody's tempted to come towards you. Or like hold on to something or someone. And it's just, it's not, it's, it's not working. This is like, I just heard, a deal with the devil. It's like making a deal with the devil. It's time to break free. Yeah, you turn, it's time to turn around. Whatever this is. You got to let this go. Happy relationship, smoker, gamble, taking a risk, and in my zone, minding my own business. 
Somebody realizes that this relationship that was once happy is no longer that. Somebody could be stressed. Somebody could have took a gamble or took a risk on this. Or somebody needs to take a risk on themselves and just focus on them. Yeah, I smell cigarettes. So somebody could be a smoker. It smells like cat pee. No offense, but it smells like cat pee to me. And I was a smoker back in the day, but whoo, child. Whew, I can't stand it now, honey. But that's what it smells like. It smells like cat pee. To me, anyway. So somebody's been manipulating something here, trying to tempt somebody. And this is, it's like somebody was tempting you to either carry their burdens or carry their weight. Or it's like do something for them and they need to let it go. Like whatever this is, a bad deal. It's not working. It's like somebody trying to hold on to somebody for, for some sort of reason. And the more, the longer you hold on to this or the longer you hold off on this or whatever this is, somebody trying to ride this out. It's literally making somebody depressed. It's breaking somebody down. And like it's because somebody's messing with somebody's free will. Somebody's not letting somebody, another person go. This is, I'm telling you, this is, you cannot, you cannot take away somebody's free will. When you do that, you drive somebody insane, like putting spell work, you know, trying to put love spells on a person. You can, you cannot do that. And I feel like that's what's going on. That is what's going on here. Okay. What's going on with Scorpio? A couple more cards here for Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio? It could have to do with money. We have ignoring, bad habits, drug addictions, toxicity, and jackpot. Winning money, go, uh, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money. Somebody could be doing this because of finances. Somebody could literally be holding on to another person because of finances. Because of financial gain, it's toxic, it's not right. There's no love here, it's manipulation. It's, it's literally driving somebody insane. Somebody is going crazy. Somebody about to lose their shit. Block. Somebody needs to block somebody, let go of somebody. Oh, child, what's going on? Marrying for money. I'm telling you, somebody holding on to somebody because of money, because of finances. Boss B, runs on business, stable, busy, multifaceted. This could be you or this could be another person. Somebody could be holding on to you because you are a boss. You have your own business, your own finances, things like that. They, you know, family issues. Some of y'all could have a family with this person divination abuser this could be somebody that's very manipulative this could also be somebody that's watching tarot readings on you or watches your tarot readings whichever okay somebody is uh, abusing the craft okay abusing um tarot in some sort of way and curious about you this is somebody who's always watching who's who's obsessed is wondering what you're doing but it has something to do with the business money finances something like that it's like somebody's only attached to support their bad habits and their toxicities, whether it's drugs, addictions, whatever, it's, it's not right. And this is about to make somebody flip the fuck out. Because somebody somebody is waking up, they're realizing whatever this, this manipulation, this black magic that somebody's putting on them, somebody's starting to realize you're only attached to me because of money, because you're draining me, because you're sucking me dry. Yeah, somebody's stuck in their head about it. Somebody feels stuck. Somebody feels trapped. Whoever this person was, this is somebody that's been in and out of y'all, in and out of your life. They come in your life, treat you nice one minute with that. They are coming in. Come in, treat you right, treat you nice, right? You know, get what they need off of you, and then they own their way out, right? In and out, in and out, in and out. This is uh-uh. Somebody could be going to jail. Or somebody could, honey, somebody could get locked up. What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? Cyber bully. There could be somebody bullying somebody online. Haunted memories, flashbacks, trauma, side effects. Yeah. There could have been bullying. Somebody could have been attacking somebody online here. Yeah, somebody getting fed up, man, because some wolf and sheep's clothing. Giving money. It has to do with somebody giving somebody money. Somebody leeching off of somebody, taking from somebody, using somebody. Somebody's a snake. This person's starting to see this, and they're getting fed up. It's like, it's, it's like, say you're married to this person. This person's only staying attached to you. Because of your finances. And this is pissing somebody off. Because now they're like, you son of a... You're only stuck with me because of financial gain. And you're using me and you're sucking me dry. This is about to make somebody flip out. Because somebody's starting to see it for what it is. There's no love here. What's going on? This is somebody dangling the carrot. Like, oh, well, maybe. Yeah, cloud hungry. Says anything, does anything, make ish up and dramatic. This person's dramatic. They may be doing this for clout. They may be doing this for attention. 
creeping. They could be watching you. What's going on with Scorpio? I'm trying to dig up information on you. Oh, child. And the clouds. You see, this is this is that backfire energy. Dirt digging, looking for dirt on you, or vice versa. Now somebody could be looking for information on you, head in the clouds, somebody stuck in their head. This could be somebody high, somebody on drugs, groupie energy. This could be somebody doing this just for attention for other people. Yeah, somebody could be stalking here, watching somebody completely obsessed because of rejection. It's like somebody's staying attached to a person, constantly pulling from them, taking from them, using them, and constantly rejecting them. Do you, baby, dust it off. And each time this person's trying to like dust it off, like, okay, it's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. Mm -mm. Somebody's riding this shit out. Ghosted, queen rising. And somebody about to finally, okay, and that's another in and out card. Again, somebody's in and out, in and out, in and out. Whoever this person is, every time they came in this person's life, they came and took something from this person and then they was out again. This is this is literally breaking somebody down with this depression card. It's like somebody is purposely doing this, riding it out until either somebody files for divorce or somebody severs this contract, releases this person, breaks up, breaks the lease, something like that. Somebody is this is this is manipulative as fuck. So I see so I, Scorpio, if this is you, I see you stepping into your power. Somebody is trying to hold on to you. If you are, are like in some, like if you have a platform or you have some sort of business and it's taken off and things like that, this is why this person is attached to you. This is why they're not letting go. They're not trying to. They're going to ride this thing till the wheels fall off until they can't anymore. And it's fucked up because there's no love here. Incarcerated, in and out, marrying for money. There it is again. Somebody only is attached to you because of what they can gain out of the situation. And this person is going to constantly be in and out of your life, off and on, inconsistent, until you say, okay, enough is a fuck enough. I'm not doing this anymore. Because this is literally putting somebody in depression. This is like, yeah, Carlos, no car, repo car issues. This is keeping you from moving forward. This is keeping you stuck. It's keeping you stagnant where you can't get out of here. Somebody is purposely doing this. Romantic love affair, sex, fix, secret lover, and F buddy. Wow, having somebody else. On the side. So not only are they taking advantage of you, using you for money, rejecting you, ghosting you, causing family issues, being manipulative, driving you up the wall. They come in when they when you know how to lift their spirit, make them feel better, and then they out again. They do they're doing it for the clout, doing it to be recognized, doing it to be seen, and then rejecting you again. And then while doing all of this, they have another person. Yeah, this is some bullshit. That's what this is. Get out, Scorpio. Get out. Whatever this is. No. I just dropped that whole deck of cards. Maybe I'm not meant to use them. Maybe I'm not meant to use them, y'all. This is crazy. This reading is crazy. I was not expecting that kind of read, y'all. I was not expecting that kind of read. Mm, mm, mm. Anything else for Scorpio? Honey, let's let's get you another card. I don't even want to. Maybe it was the reason that, card, that deck of cards felt like that. Let's get you another card. Because this is. This is awful. Anything else Scorpio needs to know? Somebody's not using their wisdom. It came in reverse. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. Somebody needs to pay attention to angel numbers and use their wisdom, use their knowledge. See something for what it truly is because whatever this is that's going on, yeah, star. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. You're meant to be happy. You're meant to be enthusiastic. You're meant to have your wishes coming true. And this here, this ain't it. Let this motherfucker go. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there because then it'll piss me off. Scorpio, this is what I got for you. Hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.